It's loaf. I'm making meatloaf today on weekend at the cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. Oh, I wish you had been here yesterday when I served an incredible meatloaf. I want to review it with you. It is such a fantastic classic recipe, perfect comfort food. Whenever you have people coming over and you need to serve a hearty meal, let this meatloaf recipe be it. Now, I do this recipe a little bit differently. I start by prepping a whole bunch of vegetables. I'm taking the classics, a little bit of garlic, I'm taking some scallion, I'm taking some onion, carrot, and celery. I'll list all of the quantities at Weekend at the Cottage on the recipe. I take those ingredients, place them into a food processor, and then I pulse to finely chop them. Now we head over to stovetop. I'm taking a large skillet, melting two tablespoons of butter, and I add those chopped vegetables in. We're gonna cook them down, cover, and let them get nice and soft. Once they've cooked down for about five minutes, we're gonna add some serious flavor. Two teaspoons Worcester, meatloaf game changer, one tablespoon prepared horseradish, add that in, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. Then I'm adding a third of a cup of ketchup. We're gonna stir this together for about a minute, let those ingredients cook, then take it off of stove top and we need to let that cool completely. Once those veggies are cooled, we're gonna assemble the rest of the ingredients. I have a large bowl, two pounds of ground chuck, three quarters of a pound of ground pork, Add in those cooled veggies, two eggs please, three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs, and yes, this recipe works really well if you want to add a gluten-free version of your favorite breadcrumbs. We're adding a quarter cup of finely chopped parsley, as much for color as for flavor. Yes, you could stir this together with a spatula or spoon, but why not just wash your hands, hands go in, and you're able to feel the texture of your meatloaf come together. Transfer the mixture into a shallow baking dish, form it into a loaf. Good time to turn our oven on to 350 degrees to preheat. And then I want you to do one final thing. We're gonna take two tablespoons of tomato paste, a third of a cup of ketchup, stir those ingredients together, pastry brush, and then brush the top and sides of that meatloaf with your beautiful tomatoey mixture. We're gonna place it into the oven and it's gonna bake for one hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. If you need to check with the meat thermometer, you're looking for 62 degrees Celsius, about 155 degrees Fahrenheit for perfectly prepared meatloaf. When you're sure your meatloaf is done, let it rest for five minutes before we head to table to enjoy. Looking for things to serve with this, why not head to weekendatthecottage.com, check out all of our sides and salads perfect with meatloaf, you can also find additional recipes on our dedicated YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel when you're there. And finally, why don't you take a picture of this meal, post it using hashtag Weekend at the Cottage on your favorite socials like Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. For me though, I like to slice that meat look perfect. Slices go onto a plate. I'm gonna add some sauteed vegetables. How about some mashed potatoes? Something else you can do, a little bit of gravy on your mashed potatoes and maybe some on your meatloaf. Last night when we dug into this, I'll tell you the meatloaf is so tender and juicy. It's really flavorful though, which is most important. Another thing that's most important, you may have leftovers. So on day two, you can have a leftover meatloaf sandwich, which is what I'm gonna do. You won't be able to find out any of this until you make the recipe though. So get going, make this meatloaf, and then come on back and hang out again soon. Take care, until next time. Mmm, beautiful. Delicious.